So will the Fed keep a lid on that bullish momentum for the rest of the year? Joining us now to discuss is Shri Kumar, president at Shri Kumar Global Strategies, and Margie Patel, senior portfolio manager of multi-asset solutions at All Spring Global Investments. I can't think of two better people to have on. It's good to see you both in the daylight hour. Shri, I'm going to start with you because I think as much as anybody out there, you have been correct in anticipating where yields are going to go, what the Fed is going to do. And let me ask you this. Is there a chance that we will see exactly zero rate cuts this year? First of all, good to be with you again, Brian. Always a pleasure to be with you. And I think there is a chance we may not have a rate cut, not even in June, but the rest of the year, unless something else happens. It is not because of inflation coming down, but with interest rates having stayed so high for so long, something breaks in the system. You have another major banking crisis. The commercial real estate issues just break out. As we all know, when that happens, the Federal Reserve gives up on its inflation mandate, it gives up on employment mandate, and it becomes a cheerleader for the stock market. That requires it to ease, then it will ease. And that's the only reason I see easing <laughs> taking place, Brian. Margie, would you agree? Is it, is, I mean, listen, there's always a chance at everything. But is there, is there a non-1% you know, chance that, that we will get maybe one or even zero rate cuts this year? How do you see it? Uh, I think it's possible. The, the th feeling has gone from three cuts to two cuts to now this whole on an uncertainty that maybe, in fact, we might not have any. Uh, I think the Fed's kind of in a box because the uh, inflation rate has not come down according to their playbook and they're a little flummoxed. I think they want to be careful by um, keeping rates too high and hurting the economy. We've had unemployment took up a little bit. But on the other hand, with inflation not doing what they thought it should do, I think they're probably reluctant to cut, and maybe they'd like to uh, keep rates here so that if there's a disaster, as Shri's referring to, they can come to the rescue and, and cut rates and save us. Yeah, and, and Shri, we got the, the CPI, and there's a lot of dithering about inflation. How much is actually just housing and nothing else? I get that. Is there, what are you looking at? Uh, CPI is a big deal. PPI is a big deal. You know, things like the, the PCE and all these wonky things. What are the one or two most important things to Shri? There's a couple of important things. Number one, Brian, we have had a massive expansion in the Fed's balance sheet, keeping zero interest rates for a lot longer than necessary. So when you do that, inflation is going to break out. What is different, maybe, whether it breaks out in goods or services, That's right. what we have been the case. It is more likely that that will, that will happen, that, that inflation will go away. 